And so, Karen Faust, you like the musicals like, um, let's see, Sound of Music, Carnival, Castle Blanca, stuff like that, which is carny stuff, carnival stuff, carny, circus stuff. Okay, you want to be careful with that. Do you know maybe that some of those, those actors were Jews? And so when Ellery and some of those guys um, want Jews dead, what do you think that means? Could it be a same argument? And so um, Bernard and some of those guys pretend to go back and forth because they're carny. And they use that to go into your families and steal you guys' stuff and kill you? Because they knew you were a Jew? Kind of weird that they want Christian and then they go to go Nazi, Christian, Jew, whatever. But they're carnies. Carnies do whatever they want. Stuff missing from your home when the carnies come through. See, that's what Bernard and Jim Riley, Joe, Harry, some of those people, Elton Anderson, Don Wiley, 61 Amphibious Base Man, the GPS Inklet Rapist Knight, because they don't care, um, you know, Gordon Airy 138, Jim Hall built the vault, because they wanted to be cowboy carnies, do, do whatever they want. They, you find anything in the world to manipulate and use you women and what you like. Or maybe you're a carny yourself there, Karen. So your attachment to Bernard in the country and Western crap. And Joe means you're carny. And your husband and me weren't the, don't like carny too much. It's problems. So Greg sits in a theme and then the carnies throw fit and then Bernard makes up a big old story because he's a carny actor who's a failure performer. Carving people up, cutting them up, forcing them into the red carny. And so that's what some of those guys did. They took your children and another girl's idea or other girl's ideas, other family's ideas, and took them and stole them and then destroyed those children. See why I didn't like watching those musicals too much in country and western? It's not so much about the music, it's what people take advantage of and the message that a lot of you didn't receive. So Bernard Hila Chance and some of them like to come through and pretend to be Jews or Harry but really, they're carny who steal people's stuff and kill off the Jews. So remember, Karen, who you lived next door to, and they saw what movies you had, and the masses of carnies that, you know, Bernard Hila Chance in the circus, and, you know, Don Wiley in the BB ship. That's all Joe does on the rainbow of the stolen rainbow of the Google is run the carny. He's a coward. Team All American, the, his whole white spiel, using my friends to, you know, for his white power. So, be careful, Karen. Be careful, Greg, and those of you. Because he found an inn like he did before and destroyed everybody. That's why he mutilates people's eyes and faces and then other and then run away. Team spoiled Michigani and they're made up shit because they didn't like, you know, one was born darker color and then the rest were white so if you want to follow the BB Carney you guys got jacked up Karen because I don't so if you guys did do the power and stayed with it we probably all wouldn't have this problem but as soon as they found out they start to destroy it or the Iron Cross whatever but we live in America, do whatever you want. So you gotta remember, when you guys have that kind of freedom, those people come into your lives, like the hillbillies and stuff that are hanging around, and the LGBT, and sit there and lie and make up stories because they're gypsies and carnies to steal your stuff, to distract you all. That's a part of the street act. Like pickpocketing, piggybacking. So. That's why I do what I do, is to tell, reveal the scam to the world so people can avoid the scam and the scam artists, so they don't get hurt. Because it's those scam artists that create the terrorist attacks and stuff like that. That's been my war with that guy the whole time. He stole our shit and injected it. And, but you guys believe him over your son, and guess what? It decimated the world. Because some of them are cult members as well. And guess what destroyed those cults? 
the same lies and deceptions that that man Bernard E. LeChance and them bring in. Destroying Brian's stuff, my stuff, Beswick's stuff, Mel Cogue's stuff, Paul Puehler's stuff. See, Joe Zillick doesn't care. He never cared. Because he likes his cemetery hole so he can hump dead people. And take what I had and then assimilate into it and call it his own. 